What's going on people, this is your boy Theo, this is a real talk. So I'm back again talking about my life's highlights and I wanted to talk to you about my 31st birthday. Um, so my 30th birthday, I actually had a birthday party for the first time ever and um, it was um, a very, uh, it's a very nice party to be fair. Um, the family was together. Um, I had everybody that I cared about all in one room and it just felt nice you know to be able to do something to be able to mark um, that occasion so I wanted to do something and um, yeah it was gonna be a tough act to follow so um, my 31st birthday came and um, and I wasn't so sure if I was going to be able to top it. Let's be real. I wasn't going to be so sure. Um, and I actually had my ex-girlfriend at the time. And then the uh, and then the game between um, Arsenal and Wolves um, um, came about, and um, it fell on my birthday, my exact birthday. Now um, I was just thinking to myself, right, thinking, okay. I need to be able to get to this because it's not often that a game falls on your birthday because usually um, when it comes to my birthday a game would fall at least two days before or or maybe a day before but never on my birthday like uh, in the whole entire time that supported Arsenal um, so um, I wanted to go to the Emirates and I felt that okay I'm a believer now I need to do it I need to get on this so I managed to um, I managed to get the tickets after like oh god it was crazy getting tickets um, so uh, my ex and I planned a three day weekend um, we first went to um, um, Milton Keynes um, and um, we went to uh, the um, the Holiday Inn in Milton Keynes. First of all, I have to say, Milton Keynes is actually great to be honest because it just felt like New York in a way. It like it, it just it just was built like that, and um, and this is the kind of things I live for. I like going to different places. I like going to seeing um, new stuff and. I have been to several places around the country, um, but yeah, it's just awesome. Um, so yeah, we went to the hotel and it was the biggest room that I've ever seen. Like it was like, it was fit for a king. Like I just felt like I was a celebrity in there. It was mad. Um, and then uh, we got round to see in Fenton too. But the reason why I was in uh, Milton Keynes is because we went to see um, I believe it was, um, oh I think it was the, uh, Jazzy Joe Jeff, I think that was the case of seeing him, I think it was, it was somebody who was big, who was coming in and actually cancelled at the last moment, it was just disappointing, it would have made my weekend even more special, but um, yeah, we ended up um, going out to dinner and then we saw Venom 2 and to be honest, to, uh, and to be honest, yeah, we could, I could have actually gone clubbing on that, on that night as well. Um, but yeah, we went from there and then we went to um, to London. Um, we stayed in a hotel just outside London and then we went to the game itself um, where we drew 1-1. Um, um, and um, there's some pictures now that you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, we did, I did that and um, it was just always nice going to the Emirates. Um, um, I've only been to the Emirates a handful of times, um, but my I have a huge, um, I've got a huge hunger to go back to the Emirates. I really want to go back to the Emirates um, and see Arsenal um, a little bit more. So that was just great. And then we decided we should go to um, Bista. And um, I've heard about Bista, heard uh, heard about it, and um, seeing it for myself, um, I thought it was really interesting because you kind of, you, you kind of got to the idea of well, how rich people like to shop. We've been to a few places, and like some of it is like beyond 
beyond <laughs> um, beyond expensive. I mean, the, the, like for example, I remember going into a, a Victoria Beckham store, and the, there was a jacket there that cost about. 800 900 quid i can't even be, begin to fathom how much it, that stuff like cost over there it, it, it was just crazy um so yeah um it was it was a nice to, it was a nice weekend yeah, i thought it was just a, a brilliant birthday to be honest and and um i gotta say i want to say thank you to to my ex she knows who she is she's probably watching now um and um um, I think it was the. I think it was um, a, a great birthday, um, to be honest, um, because you know, even though I um, originally was planned to, you know, go and see the game, she made it even more, just more. So um, yeah, like I, I I'll never forget what she's done, and um, I've got um, a lot of respect for her for that. Um, so yeah. Like I wanted to regale you on on, on on stories like that. I mean, I'm gonna be I, I, like I mean when I speak about what happened on my on my birthday party. I mean the la next time that I'm going to have um, a party of that magnitude, um, I'm gonna um, it's probably gonna be when um, either on my fortieth or um, I get married. So I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea and the, th and the thing is though with the coronavirus thing it's got me thinking so much about um about life about what the kind of life that i want to live i want as i always said i want children i'm at the age now where i would like to have children i would love to be able to to, to get married someday and I want, I want to be able to see the world. I want to, I want to, I want to take, um, uh, I want to uh, take advantage of opportunities that fall in before me, whatever comes, and you know, and I want to make the best of life because today with the coronavirus, uh, with the coronavirus, and hearing the news of of many people that's passed away, um, not just today, but. Like for the past few weeks or so it's really kind of drumming down as to which like how um, important life really is and and even though a lot's been taken away in terms of our life um, socially and all that stuff it's really it's really kind of made me want to embrace life a bit more and that's what I want to do I want to be able to embrace life the stories that I've told you over the past few videos or so, um, yeah, I've had great memories, but I want to be able to make, I want to be able to make better memories. I want to be able to, to, to live my life to the full and enjoy myself because, because I won't like, I won't complain about anything else again. No traffic, um, queues the way systems with sort of systems work and i was actually speaking to a friend of mine about about um uh, about that in terms of the system i want to be able to uh to enjoy life but people need to be better off as well they do they need to be better off because um this is the point now where where governments companies they need to start thinking about ways they can make things better they need to this is about this is about this is about drawing a line under the sand now, where we are going through a lot here, and we could and and we don't know how things are going to be once this is over with. But this is time now to actually do something, and I spent so much time thinking about just what what could be better. How much better off we could be off this world, you know? So, um, yeah, I wanted to uh, just do this video and just be able to regale you on the stories. But I also like, kind of went on a tangent a little bit and just had to speak about the way that coronavirus has affected me and my life. But how much I want my life back. And um, and and we'll get there, and I and I firmly believe that we will get there. Um, so 
yeah let me know in the comment section below let me know what you think um about this whole thing um i don't know if i will be able to top um um birthdays going forward i'm sure i will I'm sh i hope i do who knows but um i do live in hope and that's what's going to carry me through this living in hope but always having to live my life um, as, is, as if there is no tomorrow because let's be real, it, there is no tomorrow um, the sad news, the sad news of, of people dying today as well as, well as uh, the last few weeks or so it's heartbreaking, it really does hurt me um, hearing about so many people that's passed away lately and, um, and my heart goes out to the families you know, and um, it's really, it's really tough, the situation, but let's try and, I want, I, I was, I'm, I hope I want to reach out to them, but I hope I want to reach out to the people that's right now, just thinking to myself, like, you know, stay being stuck in the house and everything else, it's, it's not, it's not great right now, but, um, but let's try and fight for tomorrow, let's try and be better, let's try and take our lives back you know um so yeah let me know in the comment section let me know what you think below um like this video um and i welcome your comments let me know what you think and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well um i'm always going to try and put up some new stuff i just thought i just wanted to do something just a little bit differently um but yeah i'm 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 good i, I am good but I want to be better, you know how it is. So let me know what is in the comment section below, and I'll be back with another video very, very soon. All right, um, peace out, people. I'm out.